Hello again. Most of us having a fine, dry afternoon. Some decent spells of sunshine around as well. And for many, it'll be a dry and bright day again tomorrow too. We didn't start dry everywhere. We've seen quite a bit of rain through the early hours over North Wales and across the Midlands. One or two heavy showers through the morning. But you can see over recent hours how that area of rain has been fizzling out. Just left with a few showers in and around London around lunchtime and across Kent into the early afternoon. A few other showers developing through the day, particularly over the Grampians and down uh, across the spine of northern England, so over the Pennines, one or two scattered showers as well. But many places dry, fine, some good spells of sunshine, particularly around western coasts. Uh, a bit of a breeze coming in from the North Sea, bringing a cooler feel to North Norfolk, but in the sunny spells, well, temperatures inland getting into the low 20s, maybe the mid 20s, could get up to 25 with a bit of sunshine in the London area. So generally around about the average for the time of year, maybe a little bit above in one or two spots. Still one or two showers around through this evening, again across the, the Pennines and the Grampians, but they should fade away for most. It's going to be a dry night, lengthy clear spells, a bit of clouds, but not too much in the way of mist and fog. It will be quite a warm night, temperatures uh, mostly holding up in the teens, certainly in towns and cities across the south, a little lower further north, but generally uh, quite a warm start to Wednesday, and if anything it will be a warmer day, again dry and fine for the majority. One change coming into the west, we're going to see a weather system system approaching here, so clouding over fairly sharply across Northern Ireland. Outbreaks of rain trickling in here by lunchtime. We'll see some of that rain just arriving on the west coast of Wales by early afternoon, spreading up into southwest Scotland, and a little bit of patchy rain into Cornwall and the Isles of Scilly by the end of the afternoon as well. One or two showers possible over northern England and again across Scotland, but they'll be pretty well scattered. Most of Scotland, much of central and eastern England, dry and fine, some lengthy spells of sunshine. Quite strong sunshine shine though, UV levels will be high for many and temperatures will be higher tomorrow as well, more widely over the Midlands and Eastern England up to 24, 25, maybe 26 in one or two places, but it will be cooler with the cloud and the outbreaks of rain coming into these western areas. Nothing too heavy at this stage, but it might just pep up a little bit across parts of uh, Wales and then we'll see some heavier showers coming into the west coast of Scotland during Wednesday evening. Turning a bit drier across Northern Ireland as we go through the evening, staying largely dry across the eastern areas. As we go into Thursday, well, we'll actually start pretty similar with a lot of cloud in the west and some outbreaks of rain, but on Thursday we need to watch this area of rain coming across the south. That's going to bring a spell of uh, potentially heavier rain crossing southern counties during the course of Thursday, eventually arriving across the southeast and uh, east Anglia. Be some heavy showers too on Thursday across parts of Scotland and Northern Ireland. In between, a largely dry day, but a generally cloudier day as well. And as a result, it won't be as warm with temperatures back close to or a little bit below average for many during the course of Thursday. The weather remains mixed, chopping and changing a fair bit as we head into the weekend as well. For more on all of that, uh, you can catch our deep dive. That'll be available on YouTube by Tuesday afternoon.